Hey, Danny here with Foreign Half, and today we are looking at the five components that you'll need to successfully grow your property management business. With me today, so I'm not doing this alone, is Amy Sanderson. Amy, how are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you, Danny? Very good, thank you, and thanks for joining. So, before we jump into the components themselves and, you know, uh, talk about what is required for actually scaling, um, scaling properly a business, let me properly uh, introduce yourself. So, Amy, you spent the last 25 plus years in the um, real estate industry, doing everything from um, managing your own portfolio, growing your own, own portfolio, um, training real estate agents across Australia and New Zealand. Did I get that all right? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. And uh, today, so just making sure that I get this one right, today you are the Head of Property Investment Management for LJ Hooker, correct? That's right. That's right. So that's uh, across Australia and New Zealand. Excellent. Well, very, very uh, busy person you are. So thanks again for joining today. My pleasure. Great. So to allow us to uh, dive straight into it, uh, Amy, when it comes to scaling, you know, everything that you've seen over the last 25 plus years, to be able to successfully scale your business, there's a few components that really need to be in place now. It is very much possible that there is more than five. Uh, we want to talk about five today just to make sure that we can focus on those and and if anyone has any questions later on we can definitely um, add more to that but when it comes to components for growing your business what do you have as uh, as on your list and it doesn't have to be the most important but one of your five yeah absolutely um i, I guess one of the first thing is, is looking at your reason for doing it why you're going to do it um and really making sure that mentally you and your team are prepared to go there uh, because if the team aren't on board with it, it isn't going to happen. Excellent. All right, so that's a great one to start off with. Uh, I had something uh, pretty similar draws along those same lines. Uh, for me, coming from a background of, um, of operations, the number one thing and well, one of the most important components for me is having the right people around you. So having the people that you trust, allowing them to do the work and allowing them to give you the time to focus on the bigger picture on the strategy on the company direction, you'll find that everybody is a lot happier and things get done a lot better. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Great. So um, what's next on your list, Amy? The next I've got on my list is the money side of it. And I guess when you're looking at scaling a business, it's looking at what you're currently spending and what money is coming in. Um, and in many cases, you know, here in Australia at the moment, we've had some marketplaces where we've had some massive pressure on the revenue where we've had situations where there ain't, aren't the same number of properties in the marketplace and those that are there are having really long um, days on market and then the actual end price is decreasing a lot. In many cases, we've had a dimin diminishing marketplace of you know 40% in terms of the revenue being achieved which has meant that we've really had to get smart about how we're spending our money. And that's where this whole scaling business really um, kicked in, in terms of to survive in those sorts of marketplaces, you had to get scale and get some efficiencies happening to survive with that reduced revenue piece, which we had no control over. And, and that's perfect. And having those dollars in the right place and investing in the right places to be able to scale is, is, is crucial. And, very much so. On my list, I have um, knowing your numbers, meaning your the uh, annual contract value that you bring in um, of your properties, uh, the, the year um, value, and everything that you can do to make sure that the numbers that you are currently working with match the company goals. Um, that is really the only way to make sure that you that you're going to be able to scale is knowing those numbers and absolutely and even breaking the cost of business down per property so when you're talking about annualized contract value if you know what your break even point is at least if you're not taking on anything that is below that it's good business perfect all right great uh so what's next on your list well i've got growth down here but you know in terms of not just new business coming in also retaining it because in property management, if you're not keeping the business, it doesn't matter how many bringing, you're bringing in, you're, you're not necessarily growing. And so having the, the staff in place, and this is where I guess, you know, my point number four around consistency sort of wraps in here, 
is that you've got to have consistency of performance. And that's where I look at utilising things like your technology. So your technology is not only going to help with consistency, it's also going to help with the cost base of the business. But it means that, you know, you've got less room for human error. Um, and in many cases, the technology that we have available, you know, and some of the property management platforms, the AI technology that's out there now, can take care of some of those routine mundane tasks that maybe a, a human may not be so um, into. Um, but as I say, that whole growth and retention piece is essential. And, and that's great. Uh, so you touched on our technology there for a second. If you don't mind, uh, we'll yep. just talk about that one for, for a sec because that is such an important part of, of a business, right? And it is really a switch in the mindset um, moving over to technology because we, we have our own ways of doing things and things um, you know, can be comfortable at the time, but things do change uh, and we must always adapt with those. And technology is always, um, especially today, a big player because there are so many tools and so many platforms available that can make your life easier and more efficient and bring better results. Oh, absolutely. And when, when we're talking scaling a business, we need to utilise that so that the people we actually have in the team have the ability to have deeper conversations with people. Whereas, you know, back, you know, a few years ago without the technology there, we were very much orchestrators of rent collection, of things being fixed when they're broken. And it was a very um, two-dimensional role. Whereas I think now your investor and your tenant are looking for a lot more in their property manager. And yet if we're still doing some of those routine mundane tasks, we don't have the time or the headspace to deal with some of those more interesting conversations. And, that, and that's a great point. And, you know, what, one of my favourite things I would say about, about the industry and where it's gone over the years that, um, and, and you hit the nail on the head, right? Um, if once upon a time, most people focus on the fact that probably imagine companies, real estate companies, their the job is to collect rent. There's so much stuff out there today that allows um, homeowners, investors and whatnot to to realize and put a lot more of the picture, bigger picture together. And as a result, know exactly the job that our property manager and real estate companies do because it goes so far beyond just that one task. And it also allows them to um, not only value the work, but allows them to see that the return investment that they get by the end of it is um, a result of so many tasks and so many work and such a large machine and operation that works day in, day out. Absolutely, absolutely. So then in terms of touching on that whole growth side of the business, many property managers don't like going and asking for new business. Um, they're very good at orchestrating the management side of it, but asking for new business is something that's a little intimidating for them. Um, and that's why many businesses have someone who specialises in going out there and looking for the new business, being that, you know, typically they're called a business development manager, although we've got many variations of, of title. Um, but that's important too, because if you're not always actively out there searching for the next piece of business, we won't grow. The business that walks in through the front door will typically, typically replace what goes out the door through what's being sold, owners moving in, things that just naturally happen in day-to-day -day property management life. But if we're not out there actively searching for more properties, again, that growth process is actually limited. Excellent. That is great. Thank you. All right. So um, what is your, I think we've reached four. What's the uh, last I one? I did. I did. I jumped in and I spoke about consistency. So <laughs> well, that, <laughs> I did jump ahead. Great. But es essentially, you, you really need to make sure that everyone on the team is singing from the same hymn book. Because if you've got clients that are comparing notes, you don't want one to feel ripped off and one to feel like, you know, they're, you know, king of the world. But also, too, when something goes wrong and someone comes and says, oh, so-and-so said this in the team, we need to know exactly what the team stance is on that and to be able to, you know, really confidently say, well, I actually don't believe that would have happened. This would have been the process that occurred or this would have been you know, the statement that was said to you, that consistency piece is imperative. 
Excellent. And, and that is a very, very good point. So um, as you mentioned, just to recap on that, so no matter if your company is uh, made of two people or 20 people or 45 or 50, uh, having that consistency and having that alignment from all the way up to every single person in the company is just so crucial because it's not just the message that you present externally, but the communication that it creates internally, having everybody aligned, that there is nothing I would say worse than miscommunication and just giving out the wrong message, again, externally, but internally is just as bad because it gets people extremely confused and questioning where instead aligning people and having everyone follow the same message, report the same message, really, really creates a, a, a happier environment and a more steady one. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, great. So I think we definitely covered five and uh, we're going to recap. We're going to recap on that. But thanks again, Amy. Uh, for your time and uh, all the knowledge and uh, looking forward to doing this again one day in the future. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Danny. Thanks.